So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys I bring you a great way in farming easy artifact weapons and armor. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so if you want a great way in earning artifact weapons and gear, decent levels too, that and around and above your level, then look no further. Now, firstly, we know, we all know of the uh, sunken airdrop farm at the bottom of the map, which is great. Don't get it twisted. It's a great, great farm. The problem with that is it ain't an option for a lot of people. Also, in my opinion, the only containers here worthwhile are the inhibitor containers. I mean, the sunken airdrops can drop you decent gear, but they just ain't efficient enough to be swimming around or running around that place for as long as it takes. And I think there's four or five inhibitors there, uh, but they are your best bet down there. But this method, although I wouldn't say is faster, I mean, it could be faster. I haven't really timed it, but it is a great, great method. And to be honest, I actually get better loot from this method than I do from that down there. So I actually made a video the other day, the great combat XP farm. This is basically the same farming spot. If you missed that, um, it's here on the mini map. As you can see, this safe house in the middle of Trinity upon the area of old Villador. Now, what you need to do this is the Kadoom shotgun, which is the Doom East Egg weapon. If you don't know how to exploit this out of that challenge, I'll put a guide in the video description. You also need a way in killing yourself. The broom is great. If you've got the broom, again, don't know what I'm talking about. That allows you to fly around the map. If you've got that, amazing. If you haven't, you'll need like a grenade or something. Something to kill yourself with. Because the way it works is you come to this safe house at night. It's got to be night. And we're looking for a certain encounter. The encounter with that gold. Gold, is it gold? Yellow? Cream? I don't know, mustard. We're looking for that color encounter because these are the bad boys that drop that decent loot. Now it's not 100% all the time artifact, but the majority I've done this and I'll show you clips uh, at the end of the video. It's always artifact, yeah. And I mean, the first time I actually did this, I got the Tomahawk level eight. Yeah, it's my level, fair enough. I've been looking so long for that weapon. I've been looking so long for that weapon. Second time I did this guys, I got an Enzo Kitana. Again, okay, level 8. Fair enough. That's my level. But if you're end game levels, level 9, I probably would say this is one of the better ways of getting artifacts in the game. So the way it works is, like I said, we're looking for them encounters. So you come to the safe house, you run around it, you scan the area. And in this area, you can get multiple encounters. But that's the one we want. If any others uh, spawn in, the blue ones, rescuing people, whatever, the way you can skip them and change the encounter is by quitting to the main menu and coming back. This saves your in-game time. So you'll rejoin back into the game at the time you left, but it will reset the encounter. Or you can go and clear the encounter, which will take more time, in my opinion. You'll also have to kill yourself then to reset and allow another encounter to actually uh, spawn in. So me personally, I think it's probably better and more efficient to quit out and load back in. That's completely up to you. You can clear the encounter if you want, that's fine. You will still have to kill yourself in and around the safe house area. So you spawn back at the safe house. So what I was doing was basically just doing this, running around this house and scanning the area until I get a gold encounter. Once I get the gold encounter, I'm running down to it, killing it with my doom shotgun. I'm running back to the safe house and I'm using a grenade to kill myself. Now, if you got the broom, can jump on your broom you can fly up in the air at a high enough height so when you jump off your broom you land next to the safe house you will die instantly respawn on the spot within the safe house you can repeat the process that is basically all you got to do just rinse and repeat guys and and just keep farming these gold encounters and they do drop amazing loot so yes it is as simple as that now i like i said in my opinion the best way to do it is come to the safe house run around it, scanning the area until you see an encounter. If it's not the gold encounter, if I were you, I'll quit out of the game, load back in, rinse and repeat. 
again if it's not the golden counter i quit out of the game no backing rinse repeat i mean i've had a, a scenario where i had six golden counters in a row i mean it's rare but it can happen and quitting out to the main menu and loading back in means you don't waste no time during the night because obviously this is on a night cycle so you have to do this during the night i mean if you get to the daytime and you've had a great farm you can always go to the the windmill right by this place reset the day tonight come back rinse and repeat guys it is as easy as that so on screen now you'll see me doing this killing the gold dudes the gold encounters and getting those amazing gear and weapons and guys that's the farm and i hope you enjoyed if you did leave in a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more dying light be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one